the third X Division match is a, a fun, notable one. It's Samoa Joe versus Sabu for the X Division Championship. Yeah, it's not remarkable, mm. but there was extenuating factors. But it, it's still a fun. It's a fun note. Yeah, it's not remarkable in a way that makes it remarkable. Yeah, because <laughs> Sabu's arm is broken. Straight up. He's just broken. Apparently, he took a chair shot from the parka in Mexico, and he put his arm up to protect it, but he swung the chair so yeah. hard that it went through the arm, broke his arm, split his head open, and badly swelled up his elbow. <laughs> so... Gross. And apparently, like, this match was said to go longer, because there was a bunch of talk, because he, he's already been announced for One Night Stand this year at this point. So everyone already knows he's returning to WWE, and they've already announced, like, there's, uh, I think it's announced in the run-up to One Night Stand that ECW will be returning as a brand. So I think there is the anticipation that Sabu is leaving. I think everyone kind of knows he's leaving. So there was some worry that, like, both because of that and because of the whole broken arm part, he might actually no-show. And uh, he doesn't. He shows up and he's like, don't cut my time. I want to work a full match. Until he gets in the ring where apparently he called it on the fly being like, I am in so much fucking pain. We can't go much longer. <laughs> mm. He's a, a crazy motherfucker. Yeah, the idea that he's like, don't cut my time. I can do it. I can do it. He goes in there. It's like, fuck, no, I can't do it. This fucking sucks. <laughs> and Sabu of all, because apparently like a lot of people, you know, there might be heat on somebody doing that. But everyone's like, Sabu is a crazy man. If he is like, I can't continue. My arm is too sore. That that man fucking means it. Exactly. Like, that's not a guy that's just gonna be like, nah, I'm done now. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I just want to get out of this. And, like, the people thought he might want to get out of doing a job. But no, like, the man fulfilled his commitment. He did the clean job to Samoa Joe. Muscle Buster in the middle of the ring. Uh, It's a six-minute match. It's only as good as a six-minute match with a man with a broken arm can be. It's kind of a shame because, like, Sabu and Joe is a cool match. Yeah, you really wish they would have got the opportunity to do something bigger. Because, yeah, like, the two Samoa Joe dream matches they've done so far have both been, like, compromised in weird ways. The Liger one at Bound for Glory and the Sabu yeah. one now. Like, neither of them have really hit the way you'd want, and it's kind of a shame. Both with, like, weird extenuating circumstances. Some both with uh, going home early. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, Joe wins with the Muscle Buster. There was also a thing where, like, Sabu was mad because he thought he'd get two paydays because he was thought he was doing the Monday TV as well, but he wasn't booked for the Monday TV and felt double crossed. It's also like, dude, you had your arm broken. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, what were they going to do with you? Um, but yeah. Oh, and there was also the X Division Escape match. So Chris Sabin, Elix Skipper, Petey Williams, Puma, Sharkboy, and Chase Stevens in an X Division Escape match. What an odd one. Yeah, the, the rules are it's pinfall elimination until you get down to the final two where then the winner is the first person to escape the cage. Over the top, no doors. Like, it's a fine addition to the pay-per-view card, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. Yeah, it's very much we have these guys that throw them to fill out the show. Uh, there's worse ways, again, there's worse ways you can do that than throw a bunch of exclusion guys into half a scramble because you ended up having the best match of the show doing that exact same thing last month. So, um, yeah, it's it's a good match. They're not a great match. It's, it's maybe the worst match on the show because this is actually, like, there's, there's a decently high floor for this pay-per-view, which is unusual because it's usually, like, a bad match or two, usually involving the James gang. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I think this is, I think, with, like, 3, 2, 7, 5 or something. It's the lowest I went on something on this show. But like the highest I went is four for the main event, or no three seven five. You went three and three quarter. Yeah, so like everything kind of hits hits between like two seven five three seven five, which makes it a nice kind of breezy show. But there's nothing really hitting on a higher level. But uh, we got that on TV this month, so yeah, they gave you the best match on TV. Um, so, like we still get our one good match a month quota. Uh, Tanae and West call back to the cage walk as Skipper makes his entrance, so they haven't let that one let go, thankfully. Why would they? The the story of this match is Simon Diamond and uh, Scott Demore are on the floor and they, they strike up a scheme. They're like, PD and Skipper are going to work together for the entirety of the match. They're going to eliminate everybody and then they're going to duke it out between the two of them and naturally PD betrays. <laughs> it looks Skipper. Which shows you like the hierarchy of the heels. Too. Yeah, it's like those the nerd heels get jobbed out by the actual, uh, not, not even pushed heels, the mid-card heels. <laughs> I do like Scott Demore wandering over. It's like, we're going to do it like in the old country, like gentlemen. <laughs> I uh, great tracksuits on both men. Mm, that's that should be a requirement for all stables and all coaches. Tracksuits everywhere. Uh, PD eliminates Shark Boy with the Canadian Destroyer. PD then does lo- a lovely like cage walk tornado DDT where he runs across the cage, hits the tornado DDT. Very very nice. Um, Chase Stevens. Mm-hmm. He climbs to the top of the cage. <laughs> <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> And he does a shooting star press off the top of the cage. In a sense. He does do the move. Now, does he yeah. hit anybody? No. <laughs> but 
Well, he does hit them. Is he caught by anybody? He does graze down the middle of a couple of them and mm. land face first on the mat. And then Don West, without missing a beat, he's like, right on his face! <laughs> yeah, really, like, got a draw to the fact that the man just, like, landed face first. It is, listen, it's not good for Chase Stevens to do it. You make him look like a dork. But, like, it is probably the better thing to do to say, oh, they all sidestepped him and he ate shit, than it is to pretend they actually he actually hit them. <laughs> Yeah. Because he is actually eliminated immediately after. So maybe it's actually, maybe it was deliberate. Maybe it was like, guys, get out of the way. That'll be a sick way to get me out of there. Yeah. I don't think that's it. I don't think it is. Skipper. <laughs> Unless he's a real crazy man. Uh, Skipper pins him immediately with a Celtic cross. Uh, play of the day? Uh, game over? Something like that. Um, play of the day is the overdrive one. Celtic okay. cross? That that fella. The, the, that's the name of the Finley move. I watched oh. David Finley growing up. I'm sorry, Liam. I thought... The Celtic Cross is different. Um, no, what's his, what's the Seamus one? Uh, I, I no, wait, that, that's the Celtic what, Cross. White what's noise. What's the razor's edge? White noise is what I'm thinking of. Right, uh, you were right to question me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, the Celtic Cross is the razor's edge. You can slap me in the face. <laughs> no. <laughs> you felt really bad about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Seamus, by the way, back. In WWE? Played a vignette on Raw. I watched Raw. I, I didn't even hear about that, so good for him. Yeah. Played a big Shamo vignette. Fella. He's returning. There was no Tamatonga. He can finally win the Intercontinental title given Gunther doesn't have it. Him and Zayn. Yeah, that'd be good. Actually, him as a heel against Zayn would probably be really, really good. But people can't... I think... Like, oh, this is not what people came for. But I think the story of him winning the IC title is too babyface. It probably is. But maybe you do the story of him being like, he couldn't win it, so he cheats to win it. Hmm. Also, it's Gable Zayn next week. Yeah. Poor Gable. So they might take the coward way out. <laughs> <laughs> Gable's just going to lose again. It's fine. Yeah. and Well, it is in Montreal, so... Mm. Oh, oh, no. Gable is going to cheat oh no <laughs> actually Seamus Gable you know that's a it's a solid story that like he couldn't beat Gunther so he trained a guy who could and then he's gonna fuck over the guy he cheated because like he could beat Zane, but he can't beat Gunther you know that's actually not bad yeah. that's okay Booker of the Yib strikes again listen he did win it PD betrays Skipper rolls him up Diamond is very mad he goes to throw down with the more but they so both start like rolling their sleeves up and throwing their jackets <laughs> off uh, but Skipper gets knocked into uh, Diamond before they could fight uh, PD you taking a fight uh, Simon Diamond's from Jersey. He's got some tactics. Mm. The, those boys, the Windsor is near Detroit. So, you know what? Could go either way. <laughs> PD catapults Puma into a Saban cradle shock for the elimination. Uh, Demore stops Saban from reaching the ropes because they go to the, the escape the cage portion then. So they're, they're both climbing out of the cage. Demore stops Saban from getting down and then starts gloating. And PD looks to drop off, but drops onto Scott Demore's shoulders. There's a moment of panic where they realize his feet haven't touched the floor. Which opens Saban to drop off and win. Saban wins the elimination next. I really like that finish. That finish is really good. Hey. And the right winner too, being the leader of Team USA. USA, 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 USA. We're all Jerry led. Destroy the opposition. <laughs> what a dork ass thing to say. <laughs>